in yet another diplomatic push. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken landed in Tel Aviv to meet with top Israeli officials, but this time with a shift in tone. Thank you. Thank you. It's Blinken's sixth visit to Israel since October 7th, and this was a chance to express Washington's disapproval of the impending ground invasion of Gaza's southernmost city, Rafah. A major military ground operation in Rafa is not the way to do it. Uh, it risks killing more civilians. It risks uh, wreaking greater havoc with the provision of humanitarian assistance. It risks further isolating Israel uh, around the world and jeopardizing its long-term security and standing. But Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu maintains a ground offensive in Rafah is the only way to achieve what he calls an absolute victory. We have no way to defeat Hamas without entering Rafah and eliminating the rest of the Hamas battalions there. And I told him that I hope we will do it with the support of the United States, but if we have to, we will do it alone. Despite that threat, Israel has sent a delegation to Doha, where talks with Hamas are ongoing to secure a ceasefire. Blinken says mediators are trying to bridge the gaps on remaining sticking points, but anonymous Israeli officials say no real progress has been made. Next week, Israel will send a delegation to Washington to brief American officials on its military strategy in Rafah, but nearly one and a half million Palestinians are sheltering there, and the U.S. fears the planned operation will put more lives in danger and impede the delivery of aid. Hamda Sarhout, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.